the binomial theorem this is the uh, topic of this video I'm creating this video for my geometry concepts and connection class fall 2023 so I hope that this can help you with your assignments and also for everyone that can watch this video and they want to refresh how to do the binomial theorem how to apply it how to expand a binomial so this is what we have here we have uh, the binomial phi z plus 2y to the second power that's the binomial to the power of three we are going to use the pascal triangle i have it right there you can see in the screen the pascal triangle I, I, i'm not going to, to go over the pascal triangle but they represent the coefficients of those uh, expansions of the binomials so for example we have here the first row here one and one the second row here is one two and one notice that they start with one ends with one and the number right here in the middle is just the results of the sum of the these two number ones on right here one plus one is two and then we have row one row two and the row three here is one three three one because it start with one ends with one and the number here these two numbers can be found by adding one plus two three and adding two plus one three these are the coefficients and notice right here the binomial to the power of three notice the one in front of the first term notice the three in front of the second term notice the three in front of the third Term. and notice the one at the end which is the same number one that I have here so this is essential to find the coefficients of the terms and then we are going to know or identify who is A who is B for example A is 5Z and B is 2Y to the power of 2 so let's just start now let's identify a and b a will be a will be phi z b will be 2y to the power of 2 so we're going to follow this formula here so we have the uh, Coefficient 1, a to the third power, so it's phi z, let me use a different color here, phi z to the power of 3. I won't put b to the 0 power because any number to 0 power is equal to 1, plus 3 times a, remember that a is phi z to the power of 2. And b to the first power, which is b, which is 2y, 2y squared. Okay, any number to the power of 1, the base is equal to itself. Plus 3 again, times a, which is phi z to the power of 1, which is phi z, times b to the second power, which is. 2y to the second power, the whole thing to the power of 2. Because it's b, the whole term, 2y squared to the power of 2. And finally, coefficient 1. And the coefficient 1 is times 5z, a to 0 is 1. I don't, I don't want to put it because 5z to the power of 0, it will be 1. It will be one so we're going to leave it there times b to the power of three so 2y 2y squared to the power of three so this is this is easy but it's not difficult if we follow the steps if we identify the binomial if we identify the pascal triangle rule that we are going to use if we write down all the coefficients from the Pascal triangle, if we identify who is A and B and we do this and we review it one more time, notice that one term is 
in decreasing three to the exponents are decreasing three two one zero and the second exponent is increasing zero one two one three this is important and it works for any kind of expansion keep that in mind let's see what is next now let's grab a calculator and start working along with me so we are going to multiply phi z to the power of 3 which is no more than phi times phi times phi which is 125 z to the power of 3 plus we are going to raise phi z to the power of 2 which is no more than phi z times phi z which is 25 and then we multiply 25 times 3 which is 75 and then we multiply 75 times 2 which is 150. 150 z to the power of 2 y squared. Let me review it with the calculator here. So we are going to multiply 5 times 5, which is 25. And we are going to multiply by 3. And we are going to multiply by 2, 150. So let me clear this. Be careful. 150 z squared y squared plus. Let's multiply 3 times 5, which is 15z. You want to do it this way, 15z. And then 2y squared to the second power is no more than 4y to the 4 power. Let's do it this way, little by little. 3 times 5, 15z. 2y squared to the second power is 4y to the 4 power. Plus 2y to the second power to the third power. It will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 y to the second power to the third power is power of a power. We multiply the exponent three times to six is y to the sixth power. Do not rush. That's step number one. Do not rush. So let me do it here again. Three times five, 15 z. Two to the second power is four. y to the second power to the second power. Power of a power, property of exponent. Multiply two times two, four. Right here, 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. y to the second to the third power of a power, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, 125z to the power of 3 plus 150z to the second power, y to the second power, plus we multiply here 15 times 4. Make sure that you have it right. 15 times 4 is... 60 z y 4 plus 8 y to the 6. Then, this is the binomial theorem, the expansion of a binomial to the power of 3 using the Pascal triangle. If you like this video, please give us a like and share. There are many, many people, students, high schoolers that they still need to uh, learn and practice uh, the binomial theorem. Thank you.